Hi, my name is Eric Thrain, and I am a professor in the School of Physics and Astronomy at Monash University. Welcome to this explainer video where we are going to discuss the concepts of force and momentum and how these two quantities are related. Let's get started. So first, let's talk about force. Force is equal to mass times acceleration, or in an equation, F equals ma. It has units of newtons, and the uh, force refers to any interaction that when opposed will change the motion of an object. So let's take a journey from my garden up into space and imagine that we have a ball floating in front of us motionless in space. Now, if I push on that ball, its motion will change. It wasn't moving and now it's going to float away from me with some velocity. The act of me pushing on it was, a was the exertion of a force because the motion changed. And that's what force is all about, change of motion. Momentum is mass times velocity, or when we write it in the equation, P equals MV, where P is the momentum. The units of momentum are kilograms, meter per second, and momentum is a conserved quantity. So let's journey back up into space with our ball. And if we see in space this ball moving by us, it will be moving with some constant momentum. And we know that if no forces act on that ball, that will continue to move with that same momentum in perpetuity. It's a conserved quantity. But there was something important I said just now. If no force acts on it, what happens if a force does act on the ball? That's what we seek to investigate. What is the relationship between force and momentum? In order to illustrate, let's consider another experiment. This time, let's not go to space, but let's go to the Australian Open. I have my tennis racket, and we're going to hit this ball. Now, as the ball is coming toward my racket, it has some momentum. It's moving this way because momentum is a vector, and the velocity is pointing in this direction. But now, as it comes into contact with my racket, my, I will exert a force on it, or my racket will exert a force on the ball which causes it to now move off in a different direction with a new velocity, and therefore the momentum has changed. So the question is how are force and momentum related? It turns out that force and momentum are related through an integral. In particular, the impulse or the change in momentum is equal to the integral of the force over some time. An integral is just refers to the area under some curve. So we can visualize this graphically here. We have a graph showing the force as a function of time, and that is represented by the red curve. That red curve could, for example, represent the force I apply on some ball over some period of time. Now, the change in momentum of the thing that I'm applying the force to is given by the area under that curve, which is denoted in shaded pink. Let's do an experiment in order to test this relationship in the lab. Here's our setup. We have a cart which has a mass of 0.25 kilograms on an inclined plane. We will measure the speed of this cart as it travels slowly down the inclined plane with a radar gun. The radar gun will measure the velocity of the cart. That's on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side of the screen, is a force sensor. It has a spring on the force sensor, and what will happen is the cart will crash into the force sensor, depressing that spring, and the force sensor will measure the force on the cart. Now, because velocity gives us momentum, we'll be able to relate the change in the momentum as measured by the radar gun to the force as measured by the force sensor. Let's do the experiment. All right, here goes, we'll release the cart. Here's the data coming in. On the top, you can see the velocity as measured by the radar gun, and on the bottom, you can see the force as measured by the force sensor. Zooming in on one of these pulses, in which the cart hit the spring, we can measure the area under the curve of the force as a function of time and compare this to the change in the velocity in the top panel. Now, the change in velocity is 0.85 times 2, which is going to work out to 
1.7. That is in meters per second. And if we divide by four or multiply by 0.25 kilograms, that will give us a newtons or a, um, sorry, a kilogram meter per second squared of about 0.4 newton seconds. On the bottom, if we look at the area under the graph, we see that it has a area of 0.4 newton seconds. In other words, the change in momentum as measured by the velocity sensor is comparable to the area under the force graph as a function of time. So that concludes our explainer video relating force and impulse. Hope to see you soon.